What's up y'all, it's Kira and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about um, my fall semester at Spelman, sophomore year, sophomore season, all of that. So let's just jump right into the video. So um, I have notes, <laughs> just so y'all know, like I'm not just looking out for no reason. But yeah, um, first, like starting off with like the beginning of sophomore year, I'm an RA, I'm an RA in the suites. So um, I had to move in on the 1st of August for RA training. And honestly, um, being an RA is actually a, like a lot. And honestly, if like people should know that it is being a lot and it's a big responsibility because we are like, we are responsible for um, basically like safety of residents and make sure residents know everything they're supposed to know, doing everything they're supposed to do. So, um, they can be like we can have all of those things in order for people that are higher than us so yeah if y'all want a video on how i became an ra because i know that um the ra like application process is about to start soon so yeah if y'all want a video on how i became an ra then um like this video comment down below message me or whatever and i'll definitely get that out to y'all but yeah um it was actually a lot like we had to decorate the building we had to do actually we had to do training like we had to do a lot of we have to do a lot of training because there's a lot of stuff that you actually have to know that um people don't really know that artists do so it's a lot of stuff we do um outside of just room checks and like stuff like that so um we had to go different go different trainings go to different sessions about different like things and we had to also get the building prepared for when residents move in on um like when people started moving in early and when people started moving in like normal so we had to like put um decorations on the doors with like people's names we also had to do we have to do bulletin boards so um being already right was a lot especially like in the first like couple of weeks of he being here so yeah um i was going to the, i was also going to the gym regularly let me get in the semester because y'all know i was going to the gym regularly over the summer like every day but once i got here it got kind of harder even though i'm closer to the gym now but it just got harder trying to find times in the day where i could go to the gym because i usually like to go in the morning time so i have the rest of my day like i don't have to change out of what i'm wearing for the rest of the day but now i'm going to probably like just go whenever i can and um forget about like trying to have to like change or anything because at this point you gotta go when you can you gotta make time to go so yeah um in september like the beginning of september my mom got married so that was also a lot of shirts on august because like she was going running around crazy and um she was trying to ask me for i was in charge of a lot of stuff because i was i was the maid of honor technically for my mom so I was doing a lot of stuff. She was doing a lot of stuff. It was crazy on top of being an RA. So, yeah, my mom got married in Augusta on September 1st. And, yeah, that's about all I have to say on that. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I made more friends this semester, actually, because um, this semester I took child psychology. Um, on my classes, I took child psychology, I took orientation education, I took grammar, I took, what else did I take? Is that it? I took sophomore seminar. But I think that's all I took, actually. Orientation education, grammar, sophomore seminar, child psychology. And I took women's studies. So um, all of those classes besides women's studies in sophomore seminar are my major classes so education studies majors education minors um early childhood education majors secondary education people we all basically took um we all took one or two or three of those classes so i was really in with people in my major most of the times so i made more friends because i'm going to be seeing these people for the next four or five semesters so yeah um, I made a lot of friends this semester. I became closer to more people this semester and also like I kind of had to like also make RA friends because um, 
RA 24-7, period. But being an RA also, like, I couldn't go do a lot of things because I would either be on duty or I have a meeting or we had to go, I had to go to a program or something like that. So I didn't really do much because I was an RA or because I was, when I wasn't being an RA, I was studying. So yeah, I didn't really do much. Um, also this year, I turned 20, well, not this year, but last time I said I turned 20 on <clears throat> the 20th of October. So that was like the day before homecoming started. So like kickoff jam was that Sunday, the 21st. My birthday was Saturday the 20th. And honestly, it was one of the best birthdays that um, I had um, in actually probably my whole life. Cause um, I really don't, last year I really wasn't excited for my birthday because I had a biology test and a math test on my birthday. And like, I was just really like stressed out last, um, last fall 17. <coughs> But yeah, um, my birthday was so amazing. Um, the, we I voted to do RA bonding on my birthday because um, at the time I didn't have any plans. But when we went, um, they actually like surprised me. If you watch my homecoming vlogs, I'm gonna put it in the cards. In the cards, I think it's over here. But yeah, I'm gonna put it in the cards. But like in the beginning of my home, my first homecoming video, you see where they surprised me like a surprise party and I thought it was just like game night. So it was really, it was really fun. I've never been surprised before. It was like genuinely like, I was genuinely happy with the surprise. And then also my best friend came into town and we all, me and a few friends went to um, dinner. We went to, I can't remember where we went to right now. Like I, and right now it's not popping in my head, but I had been there before and I thought it was gonna be good, but it was just expensive and nasty. So I'm never going there again. And I also watched a movie. Um, Friday, what's, what's the movie with um, Jason in it? Whatever movie that is, the new movie that came out in October, we watched that. And I'm not a big scary movie person, but I watched it. So yeah, my birthday was great. Moving on to Homecoming. Homecoming was also pretty good. I enjoyed Homecoming more. Um, I don't know, I can't remember if I went to more events this year or last year, but I went to kickoff. Um, I went to, and it was cold at kickoff. It was like cold. So I went to kickoff. I went to Neo Soul at LMA. She was really good. I really enjoyed that concert. Um, I also went to hip hop this year. So we had like, we had a whole bunch of people like just watch my vlog. I'm going to put the, I think that's the part three, two and three. I'm going to put those in the cards too. But yeah, we had a lot of people pop out for hip hop and like I was lit for real. So I went to hip hop and then we had, there was, um, yard fest kind of but it was super cold for yard fest so i left yard fest early and there's a party at um cascade so i went to cascade y'all know if y'all watch my vlog, i'm gonna put another vlog in the cards when i was learning how to skate i did not skate and i was definitely not finna learn how to skate at cascade with all those people no ma'am no sir no person none of that so i was just chilling in cascade and so friday was a comedy show and i was about to pay money to just watch regular people. It was just like AUC students and I wasn't going to pay for that. So I didn't go to the um, comedy show, but I went to tailgate, I went to the game, and I went to the parade and all that stuff because, you know, I'm a, like, I love band. And so I wanted to go watch the band in the parade. I wanted to watch the band at the football game and all that. And tailgate was just lit. My, my more house brother came from tailgate. I don't think I've vlogged a lot of tailgate actually. So yeah. That was homecoming. I really enjoy homecoming a lot more this year than I did last year. Hopefully next year I can just enjoy the whole thing. So yeah. Um Yeah, I only took and then if y'all I just named my classes. I only named like five classes or something like that. And like so I think women's studies, um women's studies, child psychology, grammar, orientation and education, and sophomore seminar. So yeah, um, I also only took like 14 credits because sophomore seminar doesn't count for credits. So yeah, I only took 14 credits this semester so my low was like really light. But like I said, it was a lot of reading <laughs> and a lot of note taking and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it wasn't a lot, a lot, but like next semester, this semester now, I'm gonna take 16 credits and <clears throat> because my two of my classes are zero credits. so. I'm taking, what am I taking? I'm taking psychology of the inner child. I'm taking history and philosophy of African-American history. 
I'm taking spin. I'm taking sophomore seminar again. I'm taking, um, what else am I taking? I'm taking another class. And I'm taking French. So I'm missing, I'm still missing a class. Oh, and I'm taking American history 212. Yeah, so technically I'm taking two history classes. I'm taking another psychology class. I'm taking a wellness class. I'm taking my language. So I'm, I'm taking a lot of classes and I want to, I'm thinking about overriding to take 20 credits this semester because I need my, I'm, I just want to get my fine art out, out of the way. So either I'm going to take my 20 credits this semester or next semester. But either way, like it's going to be 20 and I'm going to have to override. But I'm thinking about just going ahead and doing it this semester. But I don't know. So yeah, I'm not taking a lot of classes, honestly. Um, and also, I gained a little confidence. I don't know if y'all could notice in my vlogs or my videos or not, but I've definitely gained a, a little bit more confidence because my hair is grown if y'all can't, if y'all can't tell. But yeah, I definitely get, that's like one of the things I'm proud of, gaining confidence. And this year I'm gaining even more confidence. Um, I'm putting my 2019 goals video in the car so y'all can check that out. Um, and yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. Um, so also this semester I had more community service hours. So I did spell reads which is basically you go um, to a, a school, elementary school or middle school, and you read, you help children, like it helps students um, improve their reading scores. So I went to an elementary school on Thursdays. Um, yeah, I think I think that was in one of my vlogs I was talking about um, just going to elementary school. And I had three students overall, and they were like really like some good readers. and. Yeah, I did that every Thursday, and I also did like I went to a, he a early learning center on Fridays to um and I basically I didn't have classes on Fridays last semester, so I just stayed the whole day with them, and I was in the three year old class, and they are really smart, like honestly, really smart. So yeah, I did that, and I also like would respond to um the org sync. Is it org sync? No, it's not org sync. The community service website for Spellman, I'll respond to like a lot of different things on that and do those community service um, hours. And also for NCNW, we have to have two community service events. So I did community service with NCNW as well. So like, I love community service so much. And um, in high school, like I had like over 500 hours that I logged um, over my high school career. And so, yeah, I'm glad I'm getting back into community service because I really enjoy it and it's something I really like to do. Um, so yeah, and actually, and I talked about me not going out so much this semester because spring semester, I didn't really do, I didn't do a spring semester recap video, but, um, definitely like I had a traumatic experience at like one party spring semester. And after that, like I haven't gone to, I don't think I've been to another party since then like i've been to like a couple like one or two kickbacks this semester but like as far as going out because like last year i would go to dinner i would go to like i never been to brunch oh well this semester i went to brunch with my best friend but um i'll go to like different places with different people and stuff like that like this semester if i went somewhere like i went with my friend Haley. y'all seen Haley in a couple of my videos like me and Haley would go somewhere or like my, when my best friend came, we went to brunch or something like that. But like other than that, oh wait, and I went out for my birthday. But like going to like parties all the time, like I did freshman year, like I didn't really do that because like we're sophomores now, we're getting into our majors and we're like it's crunch time. It's starting. It's like it's getting harder and harder every year. So I didn't really go out as much. Um, I may go out a, a few times this semester, but other than that, like honestly, the going out thing, like the standing in line getting an Uber back and forth. Um, what do y'all want to eat after the party? Like, that's like oh, tiring, and honestly. And I go to sleep early now because I have to be, I have to be up so early to do office hours. And if I want to go to the gym, I have to get up early. So I go to sleep early now. And being out all night, is just not my groove no more, y'all. It's not my groove no more. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we're praying for bigger and better things in this 2019 spring 19 school year 4.0 season all of that 
So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Turn on my post notifications so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Do, 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 do.